<laughs> Take me painting tonight. Woo, everybody. Let's get ready to go. What's up, Shane? Oh, the long, long intro song. I know. Yes. Perfect. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for tuning into the Paint with Josh show. We're back in the studio with you again tonight on an 18 by 24 inch canvas. It's going to be beautiful. Let me show you what we've done so far. Taking a bit of our Matter Carmine. It's from our Meaden set. Looks a lot like this guy right here. The brand new crimsony color Matter Carmine okay, from the Meaden set. Then we took our phthalo blue, a little bit of our dioxazine purple, and put them all over the place. You can pretty much see exactly where they are. Not one single part of the canvas is uncovered with paint. Every single spot is covered over with our liquid clear first, and then our undercolors, and we come back with some white. Now, we don't really need that much white on our brush. Let's wipe off the majority of it. And we've got a very small little sky up here. Actually, let's come down like this. Almost look like a little like an Aurora Borealis type deal, but we can turn it into very easily a soft little cloud by adding color under it versus adding color above it. All right, now let's go back. We'll grab the old soft and flop number one paint with Josh brush over here. Grab it and start to mix it down over all of these colors. It's gonna be gorgeous, you guys. Wherever you leave a little bit of blank space, you can notice it's dark shadow in there, right? Because we didn't put any paint right there. Woo! Look at this thing. It's gorgeous already, you guys. Looking pretty. The more we mix it out and the harder we push, the more it will blend away until it's just not even there anymore. That's a cool looking little clown out there. Look at all them pinky little colors. Now, what if we grabbed a little bit more and what if we crisscross? There's another little clown up here. It came down and crisscrossed in front, right? We have to leave a bit of the darkness underneath our other cloud, no matter how small or how big it is. So this guy will look like he's crisscrossing in front of all that nonsense back there. Grab it up, start to blend it out. But again, not trying to let our colors touch. Remember guys, this is what I do for a living. You can head over to paintwithjosh.com and the very first thing you'll see up on the homepage is this painting right here. Grab it during the show for a chance at a free gift from the old spitty winny wheel. Look at those clouds, man, that's cool. Now you're wondering why Josh is starting his clouds so high up there, right? Let's get a little bit of our white. Just a little touch, remember you can always add more, you can never, what? We'll finish the rest of Paint with Josh's quote. You can always add more paint, but you can never blank. Fill it in, you've got 10 seconds to fill it in. What do you think your answer should be? Right underneath, oh, just underneath. That little bit of white right there is all we need, baby. That's it, guys. So, what's the answer to my question? Can't take it away, that's right. CES Muse knew, Elaine knew, TMH knew, everybody seems like they knew. You guys must pay attention while you're watching. I must just be that interesting. Let's get out here with a little bit more of our white paint onto our brush. We'll just drag it out. It doesn't have to go on forever. Far little piece of black ocean back there. I'm going to paint with Josh one inch because you got to have it. I just finished designing the packaging, the brush box packaging for the paint with Josh one inch brushes. So I hope you guys are ready. They're coming out soon. Maybe a month and a half, maybe a month and three weeks. In any case, they'll be here. You gotta get yours when they come out, right? So go to paintwithjosh.com, scroll down, find the little button for the brush company, jump over to their site and sign up for email updates. It's gonna be awesome, man. It's gonna be totally awesome. Okay, let's save the eye of our wave right here. A lot of our back ocean right there. So if we cut down, right through it, right? So you come down here and we're tossing in a little bit of that water all the way back to the last little bit, the last little section. It doesn't all have to be perfect, but you don't want it to get too close. If it gets too close, then we run into an issue back there, right? Where we can't tell what water is what water, right? We need that to be our further away bit of water, and then our little, or closer little section up in here, and it already looks just fantastic. Let's get a little bit of our white onto the brush. Now, we're gonna have to come up and over the top of our horizon back there. See the difference where our horizon is? 
the top of the wave is, come up and down and crash. Now, we've got to light up a little bit of area underneath. Doesn't have to be too bright. We Remember, our paint's gonna grow forever as soon as we start to touch it. Let's get a little bit more onto our brush now. We've got our spot all picked out. You know what, we might as well just get in there and mix it up, shouldn't we? Shouldn't we just get in here and blend it, even with the old Paint with Josh one inch, very softly. Look, you don't even have to make circles. Just make little wiggles, right? <laughs> However you make it work for you is the best way. That's what I always say. That's what I will always say, no matter what. Right? Get that guy in there. The more you mix it, the more it spreads out, right? So we gotta be careful. Now we've got our transparent part of our water, which we can then come back in and start to rotate over, right? All of these little waves are crashing down, right? Let's do a wave shape we haven't done in a while. Let's turn the brush. Let's come over here, save our little dark triangle back there and throw off a whole nother section. This whole thing crashing down like a big old gorgeous little heart shape of a wave. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that just the bee's knees right there? A little bit more of our white onto our brush. We'll force this front wave and put it in front, take the other wave, push off in the background. Right? Just automatically. Fantastic. Shoot eyes. Remember, head over. If you love pink and blue and purple, this one is for you. And then we're going to throw that sand in right at the bottom. It's going to be fantastic. So welcome, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. This is the first show of two shows. We're going to come back and do another show about an hour after we stop, maybe 90 minutes after we stop this first show. So let's grab a little bit of white onto our brush. Remember, everything is always looking for a new home, and you can grab it if you go to paintwithjosh.com. Let's grab this guy up over here. Start launching it out. Right? Whipping down, turning from a different direction. So we're coming down here, and then by the time we're over here, we're almost straight sideways, letting that water roll around, okay? Let's take our bit of color onto our brush and just start launching it up into the wave first, right? Very lightly, 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 lightly. Right? The more that you light up, the less deep, dark, shadowy areas we're going to have down there, right? So we got to be careful. We don't want to brighten up everything so bright. And we don't need everything to be so dark either. And it's a very, it's a fine line. Come out here, spread our little bit. All of a sudden our water is flowing towards us, you guys. It's fantastic. Grab our one inch brush just to make it swafta. Do the same motions we're dragging towards. We're not trying to lose our dark separator in between the wave and the foam, right? That, uh, the eye of our wave anyway. Man, this painting stinks like dioxazine purple. Let me tell you, have you ever used Ever use dioxazine purple? It's a very smelly little purpley paint. <laughs> Lots of smell inside that guy. Woo, this is looking fantastic, you guys. So, we need to start deciding what our, our sandy beach is gonna look like, right? As we're coming down, flowing with these waves. I'm assuming this guy might be a little bit longer. Man, we're getting into that purpley color. Oof. So we're gonna have the purple, the blue, the pink, the purple, the blue, the pink. Man, it's all just going to be beautiful out here tonight, guys. So thank you again for tuning in and being here. I love you all. Remember, the Cheer Choice Awards voting uh, nominations are going to be coming up. So you guys nominated me last year, and you all voted for me last year. Enough for me to get to the number, it was the top 10. I don't know what number it was. But top 10 spot. We want to do it again this year for sure, right? Head over there, check out everybody, and say hello. Somebody's got to nominate me, so check out Cheer Choice Awards. And when those nominations come around, make sure to nominate your boy. Let's take a little bit of our white onto the brush down here. Okay, we're going to go back up into here, and just below our brightness, we're going to pop just a little bit. We don't need to be too much. All right? And you'll see as it comes through here, it'll change into pink because we've got that pink underlaying color under there. It's fabulous. You guys. Now... Let's grab just an old nasty brush because we got to push real hard and real firm on this guy. All right? Lots of pressure, lots of reps, pushing it down, 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 down. Right? Letting it blend in with all those little things down there, lighting up different areas. Fantastic! You can see that pink area right here. We're going to light up. It's going to be gorgeous, you guys. So. Now we've got to pull away from our wave with the same amount of force on our brush, or same amount of pressure, right? To drag all of those horizontal streaks and turn them into 
uh, sorry, all those vertical streaks and get rid of them by pulling on them horizontally. And the more horizontally we pull on them, the softer our little beachy sand is gonna look. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Oh. Now we're gonna come back in and we're gonna start to feed our little bit of our purpley color back towards, right? We need a little white on the brush if we need it. Just a little bit, right? We'll start feeding it back and back. That's why you don't wanna put paint on the brush. Back and back and back and right up almost to that last bit of other bright color. Right? If we let them touch together, they're going to be the same. We don't want that to happen. So, let's get out here now. A little bit more of our white. All right? We've got our gorgeous little beachy little sandy little thing right down here. It just looks fantastic. Man. Now, we've got to mix up a little bit of splashing watery, crashing spray, right? Now, what three colors do we use to mix those up? we got to use our Paint With Josh plaque mix, right? The deepest and darkest of all deep, dark colors in existence. What are those three colors that we have to mix up in order to make this really deep, dark color? Right, as we grab another fan brush, this one's all clean. Run it through this guy on both sides equally. Right, just like we're going to try to make a tree. Just like that. Load it up on each side. Do you guys know the colors? Do you already know? The BBC Blue, Black, and Crimson, you guys know, my tribal art, Mindy, Rick, everybody knows, Jess G, everybody. Let's see. The colors do go so well together, don't they? They're gorgeous. Okay, let's come in here with that dark mix onto our brush. Start popping up underneath, right? popping up into versus down into our bright color. We pop up into the water and then we get to decide where it gets cut off, right? We don't have to follow along all the way down to that last bright bit before you wrap around. Cut right through that sucker, right? Get all that dark paint, comes up into our freaking clouds in the sky. Boom! All this craziness. Sorry, hit and launch, right? Now you need all that dark shadow under there so our cloud or our little bit of light color will mix in and play with us correctly, right? A little bit of it feeding back into our dark separator right there. Gotta keep those dark spaces, guys, I'm not joking. If you brighten it up too much, you're gonna not like it very much. Let's get a little of our liquid white. It's a very runny, very wet, very white paint. We're gonna run it through our, our heavier kind of paint, our firmer paints, right through here, so they become a little bit less body full. <laughs> Just a little less. We're gonna come up here, touch right on the top of the shadows. Not trying to cover them, trying to ride above them. See how there's space underneath? I'm not trying to cover it all. I don't need all the white to go down and cover up all of our plaque colors down there. Gotta have some shadow as it's rolling down, right? And that way, especially as it mixes in, it'll get darker and darker and darker. Don't you dare. Don't you dare lose that little bit of darkness underneath. Now, when we come down here, it's not so much of a big deal. All right, we're gonna come down, we're gonna splash, we're gonna smack against the canvas. All sorts of craziness is gonna happen and our brush is gonna turn dark, right? This is going to be counterproductive to keeping our paint bright white. So we need to wash that brush off. And then we'll go back and get some new liquid white and some new titanium white because you gotta have both. You can't just do one or the other. It doesn't work right. If you're not doing it the right way, you can't expect the right results. A little bit of our liquid white into the titanium white. You don't need a whole lot of white when you're doing a black canvas seascape. You do not need a whole lot of titanium white. That was the smallest pile out of all the piles that are out here right now. Come back to this guy, start smacking and tapping and chip chapping and <laughs> boom, 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 all over the place. <laughs> right? Doesn't all have to be as bright. And even though we just slapped on all that white, all those little white pieces everywhere. What have we left in between all those white pieces? Just like I've been telling you the whole time, you can't let stuff touch, not even with the clouds, right? That have some kind of distance back in there. So, what have we been saying? We smacked on all that white, but we left all those little blank blank erators. You know what we're talking about. People in the Etsy store for some reason, why are they going there? 
What's going on over here? We don't have much on Etsy anymore. Everything goes through paintwithjosh.com. Now, let's go back over here, grab a little bit of our one-inch brush again, the old Paint With Josh one-inch. Gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be your favorite brush, I'm telling you. We're gonna get out here, we're gonna start mixing it up very lightly. Because the liquid white is now mixed in with that titanium white, it mixes much easier than this titanium white did. That took a lot of pressure to move those, those paints around, right? Those firm paints. This, much wetter, much more slick of a paint. And it'll spread a lot easier and a lot faster. So boy, oh boy, you gotta be careful. And only if you have the Paint With Josh brush can you make it up that high. Any other brush is too big and you'll leave marks down here where you wanna keep it nice. That's where everyone's looking, right here. This is your focal point. None of this, none of this, none of this, that, right there, that spot. Tell me you don't look straight at it when you, as soon as you look at the paint, you're like, <laughs> I know, I know, because I've done about a thousand of them. Well, 1,407, 1,408 is next. All right, now, even though we've just, uh, we've, we've mushed on all that color, all right, so we've gotta go back for round number two, get a little bit more of our liquid white, back down in here, pop it in, mush it into our brush, loading it in there correctly, coming up again and start tapping little things, right? We don't need much up here, it's already finished. That whole look is our finished look. As we come up here, we start smacking a little bit more, turning our brush, rotating it, and eventually all of our paint comes off the brush, so wipe it off. Go back, a little bit more of our liquid white, back into the titanium white, run it through, right? You need the, uh, the liquid white for the titanium white to become thin enough to come off of your brush. If you smack at it and it doesn't come off your brush, you know the ratio's off, right? Now again, even though we just smacked on all those little bits again, right? What have we left in between all those little things? That's the question I ask ye. I ask ye, mateys, what have I left in between all of those little pieces? This guy. You guys better start coming up with a title for this one, man. Dark separators, you know. Max separators, because he always forgets about them. That's his own words talking right there. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the follows. We're getting so close, guys. Almost to 500,000 followers. A half a million, million, half a million, God, that's a lot of people. Jeez, Louise, oh my hell. All right, let's get up here. We're gonna take our brush and very lightly, even lighter than before, because remember, it's even wetter than it was before now. We gotta come up and very lightly mix it the smallest bit, sometimes leaving areas completely untouched, right? Doesn't matter, doesn't all have to be the same, it's fine. Don't even worry about it, because we're gonna come in here with a little brush that's got a lot of flickability. Make sure your brush, no matter which one it is, flicks good, right? When you bend the bristles back, it launches forward. That's what we want. We'll get out here with our white, and here comes everyone's favorite part, all the sound effects that come with the ba-booming, right? So you gotta, you gotta practice with me. Bub, and here, go with me. Bub, 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 boom. Can you say that? You go, I'll listen. Okay, now we just gotta speed it up a little bit. Bub, 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 boom, right? That's just about twice as fast. And then by the time you go, you go, boom, 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 and it's everywhere. You guys can do it with me, okay? Let's go. Over here, we're gonna start spraying them out. Look at all these crazy bits of water. They hit, they explode. They're launching everywhere. It's water, you can't control it. You can't tell it where to be. So you just get it out there and start throwing on just a million little sprays into our seam, right? Right into the splashy bit of the water. Now, the closer that you are, the more tight and compact they will be, right? Pow! <laughs> just as many as you want to do. They never have to look quote-unquote perfect or whatever. It's just a little bit of watery spray out in the night, right? That's probably a little bit too wet. There we go. Just a little bit. Bang, bang, bang. Look at all these little crazy watery bits. Every little watery spray that you have to look through to see your actual brushed paint is depth, guys. That's the depth of all depths. <laughs> it's the fathoms. It's just another word for depth. 
Okay, we'll come down here and start taking this wave. Let's rocket him out onto the beach. He gets a little swafta right down there. Kind of cuts in front of his little dark separator friend, but it's okay. He's just rolling out. Just a little bit, very lightly. We don't need it to really get crazy, all right? Just in different places, out there, over here. Little bits, nothing too nuts, all right? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, guys, I like that. Now, let's get underneath this guy and really brighten up what we want our little sandy wada to look like. If we come right underneath him like this, Okay, with a little bit of our liquid white and our titanium white paint, right? same as we did before. It's gonna brighten up our sand and let it intermix with all those colors again like it did before, okay? So, plus it'll make it look a little bit more wet. As we whip it down, grab this guy up here, pull him down, grab this guy right underneath, right? We're not trying to grab anything except for all those liquid white bits. That's it, right? get that little bit of water, watery wetness back in here and again, Work these guys, just blend them in. Remember, there's tons of color down underneath our canvas. Tons and tons and tons of it. So, let that white intermix and interact with all those colors. Leave our little dark separator area. Work really hard on those guys that we really need to pull down hard on, right? Just like that, Get that wet sandy beach out here, guys. It's gorgeous. Look at this thing. Now, we gotta go throw some sand into our sandy beach. That's my favorite part. So a little bit of our liquid white, and let's run it out along here, along the edge of our, a little bit of our wave, just in different places. Doesn't have to be everywhere. Doesn't have to be everywhere. Run it up, you can run it back. You can skid it around, take a step back, look at it, see how it looks to you. Change your angles. All you need, a little bit of our liquidy, watery color. Bang, just like that. Fill it in, little space. Remember, not everyone's gonna be looking back there. Now, let's get into some dark colors for our sand and some bright colors, because it's cool to use yellow with your, uh, with your sandy beach. It's really neat. A little bit of brightness underneath our water right there. Just a small little touch, blend it out. Right, we get to work at our sand back and forth until we like it. And then it's all good, guys. Now, let's get a little bit of our odorless mineral spirits onto the brush. I'm gonna get just a touch of my plaque mix, all right? Now, with the white on the brush and this little bit of plaque together, we should have some gray, little, there we go, little gray bits of sand come out. Boom, 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 boom. All over, right? Little things, little flicks is all you need. Don't need anything crazy. They're too big, they're not gonna look the same, I'm telling you. Get a little bit of our black now. All right, toss in a couple little bits of those guys. Just little things, they don't all have to be crazy. And if you overdo it or they're too close together, right, literally blends away. Because the paint that we're using is so thin, right, it will blend it and be gone forever. So you don't have to worry about what it looks like on your sand, don't overthink it, right? If you're overthinking your sand, then it's gonna look all funky. Just throw a couple little bits out there. All right, a little bit more. There we go, a few little pieces, all you need. Bing, bang, boom. Now, let's get a little bit of our yellow ochre because the yellow ochre really stands out against that purple quite nicely, all right? So we get our yellow ochre, and it intermixes with a little bit of that odorless mineral spirit, so it's very wet and watery, just like water, literally. Spray this guy, oh, look at that. Oh, that's when the yellow ochre comes to play, man. On the black canvases in the sand. <laughs> look at those little pieces out there. It's amazing, you guys. I just love it. Now, let's grab one little bit of our liquid white. We're gonna toss out a couple little specks, right? It could be water, they could be seashells, they could be anything. Bang, but those little white specks out there really help turn that sand just into the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen. Oh, it's fantastic. Thank you, R.J. Jones, or R. Jones. I, I didn't get a chance to read it very, very well. And you can see the more little flicks that we throw out here, especially over that black. Ooh, baby, that's fantastic. It was R. Jones, appreciate you. 
Appreciate you. Make sure you guys are hitting the like, you know, tap the screen, do all the stuff you're supposed to do. So old Uncle Paint with Josh doesn't have to tell you to do it, right? You guys are all grown-ups. Shouldn't have to tell you that if you like something, you should hit the like button, right? Or do I? Do I have to tell you guys that? Because that's going to be sad if I do. Let's bring out a couple little bit of these little watery sections. Just any which where that we can. In different little places. Just drag them out, little things, right? So you got that watery texture popping out onto our beach. You can go as far as it wants. And do whatever we want to do out here in the night. Very cool. Very cool of you guys. Over here, over there. Scraping it, dragging it. Right? Not everything is going to be the perfect, most straightest thing. It's water. Remember, it's out there, man. It's just out there. Like this, Let's string it back, string it forward, string it back, push it a little harder, and there you go, guys. Honestly, literally fan freaking tastic. So, you guys going to start coming up with a title for this painting? What would you name it? If you had just painted it, if it was your painting, because a lot of the times. I mean, a lot of the times, literally every single time somebody purchases one of Josh's paintings, you get to choose the title, right? And if no one does, then that's fine. We all get to pick together. So, start coming up with a title. And if you really got the best one and you feel it should be yours, then you got to actually get the painting. Give it a new forever home. And then you get to choose its name. And you get a free gift if you do it during the show. Now, if no one gets it during the show, then we all choose. We all pick a title. It gets titled that, and then you can still get it afterwards. You just lose the opportunity of picking the name and getting that free gift. So, we got two more brushes to wash out. You guys start coming up with a title. What would you want to call it? It's fabulous. I really like the shape of the wave. I haven't done a big wave in a while. <clears throat> a little mixture of the old and the new worlds. Hey, Cosmic's here watching. I thought you said you weren't gonna be here. Let's see. Clean off the old paint with Josh brush. It's the most fun part of the technique. Playing with the old soft, I'm not even gonna say it. Man, the sky though. The little pinky cloud up there, I love it. So, you guys and gals and painting pals of old Paint with Josh and company, <laughs> let's throw in a couple little birdies out in the sky. Had somebody say again the other day, they're like, uh, birds don't fly at night, dingus. I'm like, uh, my birds do, bro. Mine do. They fly in space, they fly underwater, they fly everywhere. Right there. Fabulous. All right, let's get in here. Line it up. Side down. Now we gotta sign it over here. Always sign it on your crashing wave side. Do not ever sign it on the other side away from your crasher. Does anyone know why? I'll give you a bit of info here from a pro, from one pro to you. Does anyone know why you don't sign it over here if your focal point is on your left side? Do you wanna know why? Anybody? Anybody out there in class know? Raise your hands. Don't just yell out the answer. <laughs> Don't just be yelling out the old answer, okay? Why do we sign it on the left versus the right? Well, no one will see it. Why will no one see it, right? Everyone can see it. It's on the painting. You can see it, right? But what happens if you're making prints and all of a sudden you either got to choose this part or you got to choose this part of your painting? What are you going to choose? You're going to choose this part that has your big crashing wave and your signature, right? If you're, if you're making a print, a lot of the times it's not, it just doesn't stretch the same way or you have to lose parts of your painting, right? So always put your signature on your crasher side because that way, at least if we cut off that much of the painting for the print, you still have your signature on the print, right? <clears throat> Good job, class. You guys have been excellent today. Let's pick a title. What are we going to do, guys, with this? Holy moly. Dude, I like it. Sorry, guys. I just comment on my own my own stuff. Cotton candy shorts. We get that all the time. 
I do get that uh, suggestion quite often for cotton candy shorts. Anytime we do anything, any beach scene, I always get that. It's quite the popular title for sure. So remember guys, if you want this one to be yours forever, it can be, and you get to pick the title at that point. So head to paintwithjosh.com. Gotta get over there quick though, cause I'm about to start looking through all these titles, suggestions that we have. We may just pick one without ya. So, last little bit, and then we gotta get ready to come back and do Cosmic's painting. You guys remember those, uh, those waterfall, mount, uh, the mountain waterfall paintings with all the dangly flowers and stuff that I did last week? Well, we're gonna do another one of those next, so I hope you're ready. Get your black gesso and get your canvas all decked out and ready to go. And then give me a title, Crashing Blue Violet. Violet waves, I like. The crimson, blue, and purple combo you never get tired of, honestly. Turbulence, galactic seas. Nice title, Logan. Waves of change. I like that too, because it's kind of a mix between the old style and the new style. I like that, Danielle. Galaxy, twilight, tranquility. That might, like, I really had to focus on saying that without messing it up. Twilight Quinquiliturity. No? Okay. Waves over troubled water. <laughs> I couldn't get my voice deep enough. Excellent. Black Splash. Dig that too. Dude, you can just see. Ah, fabulous. Cotton Candy Paradise. Smoke on the water. Fire in the sky. Good title. Good title. No, cat. We cannot name it that. Don't even say that word. <laughs> I'm telling you, what we've been doing is, has been helping. We've been avoiding saying that word, and you guys have been being good in the comments, and we've been seeing more and more and more viewers every show. So we were definitely shadow, you know, whatevered. And uh, for something I must have said, and, you know, is what it is. We, we let it fly around here. But we have been noticing more and more and more viewers. So the mods are doing a great job. I'm doing a great job, obviously, <laughs> of uh, trying to not say certain words because you can't just speak like a grown-up or just like even like a kid here. It's fine. It's fine. We love it. We're here. All right, let's pick a title. You guys have had enough time. Let's see. Sweet Title Shores. But boom, Roaring Nights is cool, too. Roaring Waves. Where was that one I liked? Cosmic Waves. I know somebody who would like that. Oh, it's up here. It's up here. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? It's probably gone by now. No. Oh. Let's see. Is, is this person still here? If you are still here, make yourself known, because you're in the lead for the number one comment so far, right? Hidden Lighthouse, I like that. Midnight Rain. Sea of the Galaxy. <laughs> Galactic something or other. I like that. <laughs> Who's that, that girl said that? Yeah, that girl, 369. Galactic something. Yes. <laughs> I dig it. Sailor's Dream. Love that. Ocean, oh, I love this one too, right here. Wendy, Ocean Blues, all right. <laughs> I just had to, I had to. It's, just a, it's, a, it's an early, it's, a, it's an inside joke from earlier. It's, it's fine. We got a kick out of it. Don't worry. I love that Ocean Blues, I'm assuming is what I'm supposed to say. But yeah, long story short, somebody was supposed to name a painting and they named it with a the typo and it was just the funniest sound effect ever so i hope cosmic got that ocean blues <laughs> let's name it that i like that let's give it to wendy today ocean blues i'm naming it blues too i'm not even kidding with a v <laughs> typo city has taken over we're calling paintings ocean blues over here somebody keep that pinned for me please just so we can talk to Wendy and stuff. Wendy, thank you for your idea for the name of the painting. Ocean Flues. It's even hard to say. Is this number seven? I think it is. It's 1407. 
Appreciate you, Wendy. Oh, you guys, it fell off. Can someone pin that back again? There we go. Thank you. Right on spot. All right. Ocean, I'm putting it with a B. Blues, good title over there. Painted on 725 of 2025. And we're all going to paintwithjosh.com because it's the bestest of all places known to exist in history. <laughs> you guys, ocean flues. All right. I like it. What, Jess, you got a new vid? Send it to me. Send it to me if you want me to see it. Otherwise, I may never see it. Even if you send it to me, I may never see it. We're about to we're about to break 500k, you guys. 500,000 followers. <laughs> Barf. That's a lot of people. Woo. No worries though, because over on Instagram we're at 735,000 followers, you guys. Between just those two platforms, we already have over 1.25 million followers. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Trying to review my painting I bought, to email, it wouldn't let me submit it. Oh, that's okay. Try again. If not, no big deal, right? We all know we love Paint with Josh paintings. Um, we've got 129,000 over on YouTube. We've got 100,000 over on Threads, 735 over on uh, IGs, and almost 500,000 here. I can't freaking believe it. We used to have 735 Facebook, uh, 735,000 Facebook followers too, but nope. <laughs> That account got taken away, man. Hacked, stolen, whatever you want to call it. Lost it. So, in any case, uh, Glitterwick says you can go on the website. I'm assuming you're not going live, London, because you guys are still ill. Is that correct? I just want to double check. I have not been uh, pumping you guys up because I figured you guys weren't going to go live today. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I didn't think so anyway. No, there's no more. Drag a few smallest little bits. Hey, just a little bit further up. That's what I want to see. Gorgeous, you guys. Yep, yeah, still got it. I feel you. This one's 269 bristles will be stuck right inside there, along with about 10,000 little spray dots. Imagine trying to paint each one of those separately. That's why a little boop, 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 boom, and you got some sand, right? Did you guys practice saying the bubba bubba -ba -ba booms with me? Did you? Because I wasn't able to hear you guys. You didn't say it loud enough anyway. I couldn't hear you, but, you know, just try and thanks for becoming the 1743rd member. That's like that's almost as many paint. No, it's just a little bit over how many paintings we've done. So thank you, though. That's insane. If I could get to 10,000 members, like, you know, the, the paying subscriber thing, it's not even about the money. It's just about that plaque. Just want that YouTube plaque, man. And the, and the TikTok plaque together. Be the best picture ever. Honestly, honestly, honestly. So, yeah. Oh, if you did get it through Etsy, that's right, uh, Jennifer, then um, you'd have to review it through the Etsy store um, and it should send you an email. You know what I mean? But if not, if you get it through paintwithjosh.com, you have to review it through Judge Me, I think is what the thing is. Not sure. Not sure 100%. But, can you do one without the birds? Well, Jenny B, considering that this stands uh, represents myself and that represents my ex-wife and this represents our daughter, I don't think I could ever do one without the birds. They go into every, they go in space, they go underwater, they go in daytime, nighttime, stormy skies, sunny skies, sunset skies. It's my signature, I can't, sorry. <laughs> Just can't do it. That's how people know. It's a Paint with Josh painting. If you go look at all of my other... Why is my ex-wife still included? Because she's right there below you, actually. Glitterwick's right there is my ex-wife. Um, she's still my best friend, right? We found out that being married is a lot harder than being best friends. And uh, we work a lot better separated. And so we still have a kid together. We still have to parent that kid together. And do you want a relationship where it's toxic with that other person? Or do you want to be still friends with that other person because that's what I would prefer. That's what our daughter would prefer. Us being nice to each other versus being just evil, vindictive people, right? So, you know, it might not be the norm and everyone always seems to turn their eyebrow at like, what? Like The Rock? 
What? <laughs> but yeah, it's true. So, appreciate you. Yeah, the only, I mean, it's up to her to say why. I mean, it, the people that know her and know and watch her show know why we got a divorce, right? And she's much happier now. And I'm happier that she's happier and I can go find somebody to be happy with. So, you know, taking all applications. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, is that Lids83? Appreciate you. Yeah, t- now accepting applications for Paint With Josh Wifey. Just right in there. Uh, I'll need a uh, five to ten years of previous experience. Um, you know, just a whole background check we're going to run on you. It's, it's totally fine. <laughs> I love you guys. Seriously. Thank you, Chad. Um, you know, but beyond that, uh, pfft, this painting is available. It's over there in my Etsy store. Uh, pfft, that's just, that's old habits die hard, right? Uh, it's over in my website, my online store, paintwithjosh.com which is much easier of a link to get to. And um, it's going to be the very first thing you see when you're on paintwithjosh.com. This thing will be the very first thing you see. So the birds make the painting. Appreciate you. When you know what they stand for, it's not just three random birds flying at night because I know birds don't fly at night. I know. God, about nine million people have told me that already. You learn something new every day. Apparently for me because I keep putting them in the night scenes every day. Um, but no, yeah, they... They'll never go away. They're part of my, um, part of my life. That's it. Can't do anything about it. <laughs> Stuck with these birds. I love them both, though. But in any case, uh, I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. It's been an awesome show. You can head over to paintwithjosh.com. You can grab this. You can grab shirts like Math Blows Art Shows. Probably the coolest shirt ever. Thank you very much. Designed by me. We have brand new little pins for your backpack or your, or your strap or your flare if you work at a restaurant, right? Um, we got brand new little pins, uh, Paint With Josh pins. We even have a new bikini bottoms. No, that's not a uh, SpongeBob reference. We actually have Paint With Josh bikini bottoms in the store. Go check it out. I'm pretty sure Glitterwix would be able to tell you actually where they are in my store, like what category they're in under. I would assume it would be other bits. I have a category called Other Bits. I'm assuming they'll be there. But we've got uh, brand new Paint With Josh bikinis, <laughs> Paint With Josh pins, shirts, hats, sweaters, <sighs> everything you can think of, literally, everything you can think of. The bikini is hilarious. Appreciate you. The model's tush, though. That's what sold me on it. <laughs> I bought one myself. It's not going to look like that on me, though. Dude, should I get one myself? That would be the funniest thing. If you don't know what we're talking about, you're going to have to go to paintwithjosh.com and search for those bikini bottoms because that's the biz, bro. Go check those out. Uh, I can't wait to come back and do it again in about an hour-ish, maybe by 7. As you can see, it is 5.43 right now. So at 5.43, at 6.43, we should be just about close to getting ready, and then we'll go live at 7. So one hour and... 17 minutes? Is that right? I'm not a mathman or a spellman. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you guys are always fantastic. I love you. Uh, go check out the website. Go check out the, um, the uh, new Paint With Josh bikini bottoms. They'll go perfect with any black or white top uh, or red top. Ooh. Oh, red polka dot top. All right, I got to go. I got to go. <laughs> I got to go uh, get ready for the next show, if you know what I mean. Too bad I'm lonely. And beyond that, I love you guys. I can't wait to come back and do it again. And until I see you guys again next time, take care. Have a rest of a good day and boy.